Hi, I'm Mark Keller from the National Dairy Council. Um, I'm here in the beautiful Anstown in County Waterford with farm ambassador uh, Niall Moore. I'm a dairy farmer milking about 120 cows in a robotic milking system. We're robotic milking since uh, January 2018 and going really well for us. I joined NDC in March of uh, this year. Look, you know, there's 17,500 Irish dairy farmers in Ireland um, employing directly and indirectly up to 60,000 people. You know, th these guys are pillars of their community. They are enterprises within their communities. But like all enterprises, there are challenges. And I think that, you know, the dairy industry is, is aware of those challenges. There's been a lot of growth over the last number of years in milk production. Um, but, uh, you know, now is the time to be looking at, well, what can we do better? How can we improve? What technologies are available? What's the science telling us? And what the NDC has is a number of connection points that we can bring proof points back into the narrative and, and work with guys like Niall and many other farmers around the country to tell that story because that's critically important so that the consumers can trust what's actually happening on the ground but also learn what's happening on the ground because one of the challenges too is that so many consumers in Ireland are so far removed from agriculture now that you know there are kids today that just think milk naturally comes from the fridge. So our role through lots of different initiatives from schools to ambassador programs like this one is to communicate the facts and to share what's happening. The dairy industry is on a journey, we're not there yet. I came on board the NDC ambassador program three years ago. I was involved in a lot of other farm groups talking uh, in Tier Lawn and I was approached to see was I interested. I didn't need to be asked twice because I could see the great work that the NDC were doing. The ambassador program was detailed to me what, what they wanted us to do. It was basically to tell our story. It's for the consumer to make that connection from what they're getting, taking out of their fridge, butter, cheese, milk and us farmers. Too often that, that story isn't, isn't known by the consumer, they're not known what we're doing and I suppose we need to get out there all the measures that we're taking to reduce our carbon footprint. We recognise that the industry is facing challenges. Milk price is a challenge, the dairy markets are a challenge, the, the econ economic impact of all of the socio-political events that are going on in the world are having an impact on farmers like they are in many industries. But you know, the, in the Irish dairy industry as it always has been is resilient, so we take one step at a time, we tell our stories, we, we focus on where we're winning, we learn where we need to learn and the NDC is out, out in front of that to communicate to the consumers. So um, it's a journey, it's a job, it's very enjoyable when you come out to a place like this, it makes it all worthwhile. The NDC sees it's an opportunity to sort of step outside the noise and talk about what's actually happening on the ground. And we, we have this programme called From the Ground Up, which ultimately focuses on, in effect, giving the voice of the farmer the opportunity to speak about what they're doing. So, you know, Niall has explained what he and other farmers in this area around County Waterford have been working on. And there are many stories like this around the country. We give farmers like Niall a voice and the opportunity to talk directly to consumers. So they're real stories about real initiatives. We, we see the opportunity to tell those stories about what's actually happening um, and give the consumers the opportunity to be informed and make their choices based on what we can tell them. We can see here what we're doing as regards water quality and water quality is um, a big issue going forward because it's seen probably as the biggest incumbent to holding our derogation where it is at the moment. So anything I can do to see, tell people what we've done, we're spreading slurry with low emission slurry, slurry spreading systems on farm, we have multi-species swards, we've reduced our fertiliser usage by 40% on farm. It's to tell that story and it's just to get it out to the consumer and like I said the NDC provides the perfect vehicle for us as farmers to connect with consumers because traditionally as farmers I think left to our own devices and to farm organisations we're not in a good place to portray that message and the NDC provides a fantastic um, pathway for us to do so. The NDC had three core KPIs and on the, on the trust is one of them. So if we're going to win consumer trust that they trust that the Irish dairy industry, Irish dairy farming families are doing um, what they can to protect the environment while continuing to produce what in effect is the best quality milk in the world. The natural environment that Irish dairy families operate in um, allows us to have one of the lowest carbon emissions per litre of milk equivalent anywhere in the world and that's a good starting point. Other two KPIs quickly are around the connection between healthy diet and sustainable diet. So do Irish consumers trust the fact that actually dairy can be part of a sustainable diet and it's also part of a healthy diet? 70 to 80 percent of consumers across those two KPIs also coming through this year by regularly asking those questions. So 
that's our job. We've got to we've got to both inform the consumer, but equally make sure that the farmer shareholders understand what we're doing on their behalf, and we'll continue to do that through 2024.